Hey everyone, I'm here today with my March favorites. Um, I have a little bit of everything here, um, skincare, um, makeup, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to start out with is hair care. Um, this month I have been really, really big into the Lush shampoos and conditioners. Um, this shampoo I absolutely love is big. It's a volumizing it's shampoo. It's sea salt. It's mostly sea salt. If you can see the consistency is grainy. Um, and it, at, at first it feels kind of weird in your hair, but then, like, I've grown to love it. I love this shampoo. Um, sometimes I'll mix this with Curly Whirly. I don't have that sh shampoo. I don't have a full size of it. I have a small sample that my, um, awesome Lush Girls gave me. So, I sometimes mix that with that. Um, and I switch off my conditioners when I use this. And again, I have Lush conditioners. I have the Lush Kulalin which is a little bit of a heavier conditioner, um, but it's very moisturizing. It smells really good. It smells like coconut, like fresh, fresh coconut. The other one I use is American Cream by Lush. Um, and I guess this is more like a medium consistency. It's not quite as heavy. And it smells like strawberries and vanilla. So good. So I kind of switch off between these two. Um, as far as styling products go, my absolute favorite I have come to love again is my Kenra Texturizing Taffy. And you can use this for all sorts of things. What I mainly use this for is um, like smoothing down my flyaways. It's like very fibery. <laughs> I mainly smooth down my flyaways and um, then kind of piece my bangs out a little bit to add a little bit of definition to them. Sometimes I'll take these and add them to the ends of my layers to kind of bring them out. Um, I didn't do a whole lot with my hair today after work. But this you can use for so many different things. Um, you can also take the product and spread it between your fingers and then work it in at your roots and it helps give some more volume. Great for that. Um, next I'm going to move on to skincare. I have discovered a toner that I really like. And again, it's a Lush product. Um, I got this as a freebie one day um, at one of our parties, or one of the party days. Um, it's the Aroma Water. And it's meant for dry and older skin, um, which I really don't have. I've got kind of combination oily. But the difference, or the thing with this is that because it's made for drier skin, it's not super super irritating for my the parts of my skin that are dry which is mostly my cheeks and my chin um, and then like the rest of my t-zone area so my nose bridge of my nose and then my forehead are kind of oily so this isn't is actually really really good because it's not too harsh on my skin for the dry when my area. skin's really dry during the winter months and part of spring I use Burt's Bees lemon um, and vitamin E bath and body oil I love this stuff. This is a holy grail for me. I have super dry skin in the winter to the point where even if I'm putting lotion on multiple times a day when I get in this in the, into the shower, my skin literally feels like it's burning. It's so, so dry. Um, so I use this and I use this as soon as I get done with my shower before I even towel dry off. I will slather this all over and it like soaks in with all the moisture that's still like beating off your skin soaks in and then I pat dry and like I'm left with that oily feeling for probably about 10-15 minutes and then after that it's completely like soaked into my skin I love this stuff um let's see what else do I have nails the flash shiner for buffing my nails um I, for the last couple days, it's actually worn off, so my nails look kind of gross. Um, I haven't worn any nail polish in about two weeks. What I've been doing is buffing my nails with this thing. So they're super, super shiny. And then I put on a nail, um, a nail strengthener. And this one is Nail Envy by OPI, and I love this stuff. Um, when I do wear nail polish, the top coat that I rely on is Sesh Beat. 
this literally will have your nails completely dry in no more than like seven or eight minutes love this product <laughs> um i guess we'll move on to makeup um absolute favorite powder is mineralized skin finish natural by mac this one is in medium plus i love this stuff it feels so good on my skin and it looks natural um, I typically don't wear foundation because my skin, I'm not trying to brag or anything, I don't have a lot of blemishes on my skin, so I don't feel like I should have to put, like, a coating of foundation on there because I don't have a whole lot to hide. There are a couple areas that I might use concealer on, but otherwise, I use powder. Um, favorite lipstick this month has been my Viva Glam 2, which looks like this. And I always match this up with the Viva Glam 5 um, lip gloss. So I'll go ahead and swatch those for you guys. Okay, there. That's the Viva Glam 2 lipstick. And then on this side is the Viva Glam 5 lip gloss. So you can see they're pretty much the same color. And that's what I actually have on my lips today. Um, but yeah, love those. Burt's Bees. Lip balm is my holy grail again. Um, I really I do like the lip or the lip conditioner by Mac, but it's too expensive for me. This is three dollars, um, and I have these all over the place. I have one, or actually I have like two of them in my desk at my office. Um, I've got two in my purse. I have one sitting here. I have one in my um, nightstand. Mm, excuse me, I've got them everywhere. For makeup looks, um, when I'm going to the office, I don't. I tend to not do a brighter eye. Um, I do super neutral looks when I go to work, if I even wear makeup at all. Lately, we've been so swamped at work. I just have not had time. I've been sleeping in as much as I can in the morning, and I just skip makeup altogether and just go to work. Um, but when I do put makeup on for the office, it's these colors here. Um, this one is brulee that's all that glitters which you can see I've hit pan on that's one of my absolute favorites um, hoodwinked and era and I use these for pretty much on a daily basis if I'm putting makeup on now when I'm doing a different kind of look like today's look is from this palette this is the NYX runway collection in jazz night and the colors that I actually used tonight were from this palette. I used the silver, the dark purple, um, this medium purple here, and then the yellow for a highlight. So I love this palette. This was like $9.99 at Ulta. And let me tell you, this is so, this is like a great buy. It's such a good value for what you pay for. Um, and I'll do a formal review on that a little bit later. Mascara. My favorite mascara is the Smashbox Lash DNA. Um, love this. It lengthens, it curls, it volumizes. The brush is kind of thick, and it's kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that it's got kind of a weird shape. Kind of like the double helix thing, which is probably why it's called Lash DNA. Um, but I love this stuff. It's great. And again, I will be doing a series of reviews on the mascaras from the Lash Dash collection from Sephora. Um, so you guys can look forward to that. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, any requests, um, comment on my channel, comments below, and... I'll do a corresponding um, blog post that will list all the products for you so that you don't have to, you know, if you have questions on anything, you can let me know. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!